We're gonna walk with some magical things. I think that should be my new intro when I rebrand. Ooh, the intro is like, ooh, yeah. Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. We are unboxing an Akio box and it is the last in the series of the golden and silver trios. That's right, this is the Neville box. Hence my attire, I thought I would give homage to Mr. Longbottom himself. So if you want to know what is inside this box, then keep on watching. We are sponsored by Akio Box as well. And if you would like to get a little bit of money off, then you can use my discount code, which is magical family that's right so let's get started if you're brand new to my channel hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if that's part of our win magical online family but let's go because like i am ready i'm ready for the last pin of this series actually so right let's open this box on up then oh okay gonna do you solemnly swear that there's like good things inside i mean Apparently they do. Okay, so I don't know why I always show you this bit because it's always like black tissue paper. It's always really disappointing, but... <laughs> Try it again, shall I? <laughs> you know what? Let's start off with the pin. This is the last in the collection. These are the others that I've got sitting here. I don't know if I've got the banner thing to put them on. Here it is then, Neville's Patronus. Now, the thing about Neville's Patronus is no one knows what it is. I don't think it's ever been discussed, even by the author. So here it is. I did get a spoiler on this, I'm not going to lie. It was spoiled in my Accio newsletter. So if you're not signed up, go check them out. But yes, this is the last one and they've kind of made it this kind of magical what would you call it i want to say enigma but i don't think that's the right word but yeah magicalness so they've not just given neville a patronus because it wouldn't be canon i don't know how i feel about this because all the others have got really clear patronuses patroni who knows i feel as though what i may have preferred is a draco box because we haven't had a draco box have we had a draco box we haven't had we no either way this is the sixth i'm holding upside down there you go this is the sixth patronus pin which will fit the circular mural thingy maybe doodle technical term but yes so here it is we have got through six of our pins i am thinking of maybe doing a cheeky giveaway of the full set not necessarily in this video so if you're interested in that make sure you hit the subscribe button but this is the first item so yes we've got many patronuses and neville's is still a mystery love neville he is actually one of my favorite characters like he's such like he's so underrated in my opinion I'll fight you. <laughs> right, we've got something that's quite nevely. Like, are you seeing a pattern here? Are you seeing like... I mean, they've got that pattern pretty spot on, haven't they? That's like impressive. So, what could it be? Oh, no way. It's a hat that matches. I don't think Neville had a hat that matches. But I quite like that they've like included the pattern in this box because this is iconically Neville. Here's the hat in all of its glory. It's got a little bobble in the same colours. It is a little bit more greener than... This is the official Cardi which I got from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. But it's quite nice, isn't it? I'm not going to put it on just because it will ruin my hair. But I think this will make quite a nice duo. This is so snuggly. Like this would be a perfect like Sunday walk outfit. This hat and this jumper with like some jeans and some like black boots. I dig it. I do. I like it. That's a good start. Good pin and a good hat. Oh. Oh no, I think I've hurt myself. That was really sharp. Oh, I have. Oh no. I need first aid. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I've cut myself. Excuse me, whilst I have a first aid moment, I flipped my, oh no. Yeah, I think we need to stop a minute. Yeah. I didn't want to look, that felt really sharp. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, well, let's not discuss that. <laughs> Yes, I uh, one plaster and some tape later. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Panic over. I'm fine. I just 
yeah, cut myself with a knife. Somebody takes this away from me. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I need, like, those safety scissors. You know, the ones that you get at school that you can't hurt yourself with. Right, let's move on. We've got a box. I want to save this box because good things come in boxes. So let's just put that to one side. I won't forget it. And I know that you think I do forget, but... Right, what we got here? Oh, this is cute. You, you're gonna know why I like this in a minute. Let me show you. I'm gonna give it a shake. <gasps> wow! Look at the back of this t-shirt. That's amazing. But look at the front of this t-shirt. This is a Herbology Club t-shirt. Am I gonna use this moment to promote my own store and my own Herbology Club collection? Yes, I am. In fact, do you wanna put, pass me my, uh, there's some patches over there, which I've got. Thank you. If you would like your very own Herbology Club patch, fully embroidered, iron on, then head over to ordinaryhour.com. There's a full Herbology collection, but enough about me. Let's talk about this t-shirt. I'm a big fan of clubs, especially magical clubs, so much that I did make a whole clothing collection surrounding Herbology Club and this is another one to add. So here we have it, we've got a little mandrake here, some earmuffs and then on the back, which I think is the most impressive part to me, like it's busy but it's quite cute and I think any budding herbologists out there might enjoy this t-shirt. I love that toadstool. I big mushroom fan there was mushrooms all over my collection like i just could not resist but yeah we've got some mimbulus mimbletonia which neville um we've got a mandrake here we've got dittany we've got some gillyweed and some wolfsbane um so yeah magical herbs and fungi obviously i'm gonna be a big fan of that just because i'm a big fan of herbology stuff and neville is of course a very good herbologist this label's just hitting me in the face excuse me um it's also quite a nice natural color so i quite like that i do i enjoy it and i enjoy it a lot it's gonna go straight into my wardrobe with the rest of my herbology stuff so we've had a pin a t-shirt and a hat so far what is this i love the aesthetic i don't know what this is yet but i really like the aesthetic of this i love the colors it looks aged i like the twine let's open it up and see what it is are you a tea towel are you a bag are you a hat? No. <laughs> oh, is this, oh, this is cute. Is this a little pan, a plant pot thing? Like you can put a plastic plant pot in here. We'll have to have a look at the cheat sheet, but it says Clementson's Norwegian Dragon Dung. So you could probably put something, we will read about it because I'm not sure what the purpose is. It says that it's fertilizer, patented quick grow formula made in, um, I'm not gonna try and read that, but it says Greenhouse 3 Professor Longbottom. This is exclusive to Accio, by the way, but this is very cute. And I tell you what, if I had a greenhouse, this would absolutely be going inside of there as well. So that's, cu that's cute. This is like, a, an original idea that I've never seen in like a Neville box. I think that's really cool. Can't wait to see what its use is. You thought I forgot about the, the box of dreams? I did not. Let's have a little look. I I'm gonna guess that it's a mug. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna be surprised, but it feels heavy enough to be a mug. I think I might be right. <gasps> We've got a handle. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> caffeine is my remembral. That is very cute. I've actually just got rid of so. Oh, it's color changing. So it's got vanish ink. <gasps> I bet you when you fill this with boiling water, this turned red. I can feel that that's where the color changing stuff is. That is adorable. As I was about to say, I've just got rid of about 20 of my Harry Potter mugs. Honestly, my kitchen was getting overwhelmed with mugs. Will I keep this one? who knows but either way are you dishwasher safe doesn't say but i kind of hope that it is but yeah what do you guys think i knew that there had to be a remember all item in here and they did not disappoint so here we've got it let's have a look at the cheat sheet okay so here we have it oh yeah it does go red i'll, I'll show you in a minute so this box was the late bloomer 
it's the Neville box. It says two different boys could potentially have claimed the title of the chosen one, but it was not in the cards for this shy, tender-hearted kid. Though often overlooked and underestimated, in the end he was just as courageous and instrumental to the series as the title character. Go ahead, name a more iconic glow-up than Neville. We'll wait. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. So first up, we had the Herbology Club t-shirt. And this is on their Super Soft Tea. It had a value of $25. It says, show off your love for the art of magical botany with this exclusive tea design. Hand illustrated in-house, just for our care box. And it features a front logo and a back design, highlighting several different types of plants that you'd encounter in the school greenhouses. I'd definitely find myself in the greenhouses. I don't know about you guys. What class do you reckon you'd be most excited for in Hogwarts, by the way? Like, would it be potions, care of magical creatures, herbology, maybe some charms? Leave a comment down below, I'd love to know. And yeah, it says that each tea is made in the USA and printed by a small local business onto our famously buttery soft teas. And they are, Accio t-shirts are like traditionally very soft. They're known for their good quality. So then we've got the Remember All mug. And as you can see on the cheat sheet, it is heat activated and the middle does turn red it's a really nice color changing mug actually it's a really nice concept so this has a value of 18 dollars. it says sometimes a warm cup of coffee or tea works just as well as a ball of magic smoke this mug captures the illusion of the balls changing color with heat reactive ink turning the inside bright red when you hot when you hot or when you add a hot beverage. It holds 12 ounces of your favourite drink, designed in house dysrachia. You won't find it anywhere else. It does say to preserve the heat reactive design, please hand wash and avoid microwaves. That in itself, I'm afraid, is probably going to mean that I won't want to keep this. I do use a dishwasher and I do often leave my cups of tea lying around until they're cold and I need to microwave them again. So I do tend to give away to charity the mugs that I can't dishwash. Um, just because it doesn't suit my lifestyle, but that's okay. It's still a very cool concept. Or maybe you could use this as like a pen pot if you didn't want to ruin the design. But either way, let's move on. So then we had the last in the series, the Patronus Protectors stained glass pin. And it says this has a value of $18. It says that we are so excited to bring you the sixth and final piece in our exclusive stained glass pin series, featuring the protective animal spirits of each of the characters in the golden and silver trios. I always thought that Draco was part of that. I always thought that it was. It says, when collected as a set, they will form a complete circular window motif along with our exclusive custom design frame. I don't have that yet. They did say that they were gonna pass me one along and when they do get it, I probably will include it in the giveaway. And I will show you in the next Accio box what these look like all together on that motif-y thingamadoodle. You know what I'm trying to say, the wall hanging. This pin is only available in the Neville box. So if you haven't got this Neville box, you probably won't be getting this Neville pin. Then we have got the Neville's sweater cozy knit beanie. This had a value of $15. It says the man, the legend, the cardigan. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting that third one. It says, rock Neville's iconic Fair Isle pattern in a new way and keep your ears cozy this winter with this exclusive knit cap designed in-house just for Accio box and these soft, thickly woven acrylics. Acrylics? Why did I just say acrylics? <laughs> acrylics. Blend hat features a solid gray lining inside. Oh, it does. There you go, there's the inside of the cap. And it says, for extra warmth, it's machine washable as well. And yeah, washing instructions. So then there is the fertilizer bag, plant pot cover. That actually looks really good. So this has a value of $7, this little plant pot cover. This would look gorgeous over like a fake plant in your house. It says, nothing helps a magical plant grow healthily and strong. Quite like good old dragon dung. <laughs> we like to imagine Professor Longbottom repurposing the empty bags to start new plants seedlings in the greenhouse and this little pot cover mimics that idea perfectly. This was designed in house, it's 100% cotton and it will comfortably fit over nursery pots and six inches and smaller pots. It does say simply remove the cover to water your plant and only replace whilst it's dry because I can imagine this could probably get quite mouldy if it gets damp but if you've got some fake plants at home I think this would be the perfect thing to put inside of it personally. So there we have it, that is everything from the Neville box. We did get five items. I really enjoyed this, my favourite 
item was probably the Neville hat just because I love this pattern and this is a hat that will go perfectly with this this winter on some cold walks it is really nicely lined inside and like, I'm gonna look like such a Neville fangirl but I am not sorry about it least favorite item not really sure I mean everything was quite nice I think for practicality's sake maybe the mug just because I can't dishwasher but I liked the design so that's purely because I can't wash it the way I'd want to this I thought was really original and I thought it was a bit of fun so quite liked that loved the t-shirt big fan of herbology clubs and we finally got the last pin so yeah not sure I would love to hear your thoughts what was your favorite and least item leave a comment down below I'm going to be replying to some of you there and if you enjoyed this video help a girl out give it a magical thumbs up because you know it helps keep this channel running and all that jazz <laughs> right thank you guys for watching i'm really excited to see what the next akio theme is i actually have no idea at the moment so i'm excited we've done the garden trios i think i'm ready for a change and the next chapter of akio box so if you want to be in it in it to win it and unbox with me then um yeah, maybe go subscribe to Akio. Links will be in the description down below with my code. I will see you guys next time. Lots of love and Neville's awesome. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Mwah. Can you believe I cut myself? Clumsy, like Neville.